Hello everyone on this rainy, cloudy Memorial Day. I hope you are all enjoying your Memorial Day. I just wanted to do a quick update for today's video. Let's check in on the boys. Hello Henry, how are you today? Good? Good. What about you, Simo? <laughs> he, he, he put his head up as soon as I started walking over here. Hi, Simo. Say hello to everybody. Uh, hello, Alexander. <laughs> you picked up your head, too. How are you today? <laughs> Henry got up, and he's nosing around now. <laughs> what are you doing, Henry? Sal is at work right now. He had a busy weekend. I'm not sure what time he's coming home. He's been going to bed very early this weekend, like seven, most of the time seven, and getting up and going to work very early. It's been a very busy weekend for him. I have these carrots here. This is not gonna be a cooking video, but I have these carrots that I did like french fries, and I'm gonna cook them. I'll show you how they turn out after. Oh, pretty dark. They look like fries, but they're carrots. I had to keep cooking them because they were staying hard. There they are on the plate. If you want to make them, just use carrots and cut them like fries and follow the fry recipe on our video two, two videos ago. I tasted them and they're not bad. Henry's sniffing them, checking them out. Henry. <laughs> They're pretty good. None for you, Henry. So now that I've eaten most of them, the verdict is that they're good, but they're kind of hard. So I'd like them to be a little softer. I think I would make them again, though. One other thing I thought I'd update on was our little garden. My garlic didn't come up, but I planted a few more cloves two days ago. Planting is around here in western New York. It's Memorial Day because you can have frost up until that point. So most people plant them, but it looks like one of my garlics is coming up. I planted some sprouted garlic. Actually, there's three. Here's a second one and a third one. And I planted two more in there. I don't know where they are. Hopefully they'll come up. And then in here, I planted potatoes. Those will take a bit to come up. And then this is a rhubarb when I was a kid we had a rhubarb plant in our yard and it was cool so I have that and then this is this is oregano apparently these are trees <laughs> that came up on their own and here I have some onion that sprouted these were actually whole onions and so what I did was I peeled them and separated them and now they just need to get a few root now they just need to get a few roots so I have them soaking in water to get the roots developed and then I'm going to plant them in one of the pots to grow onions and my friend might give me some I think my friend's supposed to give me some tomatoes I also forgot to mention that I put some rocks from Arizona over here at the doorway. That one, that one, and that one. This is a heart. And then this is a heart, and that one, and that one. And they're from my friend Pam, most of them. We got them when we were at the border near Mexico that day. Near the border of Mexico that day they were in our video and so I just have these as a nice little Arizona thing 
nice little Arizona thing near our door. But I, <laughs> are you being silly? What I wanted to do for this video is some people have asked about my slow stitching. And, <laughs> and this is, Henry wants to be lovey-dovey right now. Are you lovey-dovey, Henry? He gets lovey-dovey sometimes. As long as you don't pick him up. If I pick him up, that would be it. He'd push away. But anyway, some people have asked about my slow stitching projects and if I've done anything. This is my first completed project. And I actually followed along basically with a video. And I'll link that video below for anybody who wants to see it. But I made this and I think it turned out pretty nice. And it's only so nice because <laughs> I was following along and basically copying what the lady in the video did. But I will show you, I have some pictures. I'll show you <clears throat> some pictures I have of the process and how this came to be. And I'll narrate those. Also, for anyone who's curious, this is what the back side of the project looks like. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. It could be lots of things. It could be a patch for clothing. It could be a cover for a little book, like a material book. Some people make books. <laughs> Henry, you're silly. Some people make books for um, needle holders. Some people make journals. Some people make boxes. I could make three more of these and something for the bottom and then it could be like a box so it could be a lot of things i wanted to also say that i have started it <laughs> i've started another slow stitch project and i took some video footage of that and i'll put that up at a later date of me making that project i want to finish it first i started with a piece of white material and i sewed a piece of yellow material on it as you can see from this picture the piece was around three by three inches or maybe four by four inches. Then I cut out the pieces of various colors and various sizes. I pretty much copied what the lady in the video was doing as it was my first project. Then I started doing some stitches, partly what she suggested, and I tried to do some things on my own so I wouldn't be copying her exactly. This is the finished product and I really liked the way it turned out and I had a lot of fun doing it and I hope to do it again. It really was a lot of fun so I hope you enjoyed seeing it. I just made this meal for Sal. He knows about part of it but he doesn't know about the whole thing so I wanted to show it and then we can show him when he sees it. I'm going to go take it up to him. You ready? Oh, you made fries with it. Wow. What did you make the fries? I didn't, <laughs> I didn't hear you make the fries. <laughs> wow. Awesome. <laughs> I figured a sandwich and fries go together. Yeah, that deserves <laughs> another high five. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, well, this will be a nice meal. <laughs> We're just sitting in bed together watching our show, and Alexander's here, and we're watching, we're Sorry. watching. <laughs> I'm just, I'm staring at the food. I go oh, it. go ahead. Okay. Go on. He's staring at the food. Go on. We're just watching, uh, what are we watching, hon? We're watching uh, <laughs> Married at First Sight. Yeah, because we were watching This Is Us, but it got kind of not so good, so we stopped watching it. <laughs> Yeah, we kind of gave up on it for now. Yeah, and so we're watching Married at First Sight. We're on season 13, and we're not even halfway through yet, I don't think. Wow, we're not. Okay. Yeah, it's long. We haven't talked about, we never talked about uh, Love is Blind, how we loved Love is Blind. We'll have to talk about that sometime. Yeah, <laughs> it's fun watching it. It's fun watching this show. <laughs> All right, well, thank you for this. I can't wait to have it. Okay, enjoy your food. Thank you. Mmm, <laughs> I gotta put some ketchup on it though. 